So I've officially learned why they always teach you to state your thesis at the end of an introduction in composition classes. It's important for setting the framing of a writing and keeping the reader's mind on track. This applies to videos as well, as I've just found out. As many of you know, I made my Why I'm Glad I Didn't Use a Game Engine video a few months back. It was originally titled How I Got Into Game Dev and Why I'm Glad I Didn't Use a Game Engine, but the title was too long and I cut it before releasing the video. I told it like a story since it was one, which led to it being my most downloaded and most popular thank you to <laughs> video. I would also play games or join online communities and be recognized as the guy who said game engines are bad. So something clearly went horribly wrong with that video. I figured I'd make this video to clear things up. So I'll state my stance now so everyone half asleep can hear it. I'm glad I personally, as an individual, did not use a game engine, but the choice depends on the circumstance. While most of my experience is from working on projects without game engines, I've tried Unreal, Unity, and Godot, I've made a Game Jam game with Godot, and I've been messing around with engines lately for VR game development. To understand why I'm glad I didn't start game dev using engines, it's important to understand my opinion on the choice itself. Ultimately, the most important aspect of the decision of whether or not to use a game engine is your goal when making the games. If your primary goal for game development is education and you're looking to get experience with problem solving and programming in general, I'd highly recommend not using a game engine. My reasoning is similar to why many high schools and universities like to teach Python and Pygame as opposed to having people learn programming through game engines. Game engines force you to interact with their abstractions when making games. Making games through these abstractions change the type of problems you deal with to be less like the types of problems you deal with in the majority of the rest of the software industry. This has nothing to do with working on as low of a level as possible as some people in the comments seem to like to think. It's more about getting experience that's more applicable to jobs you may be looking for. All that knowledge of Unity or Unreal won't really help you much if you're working on embedded systems or something. But if you end up not using an engine, the problem solving you put into your implementations of the various functionality that's normally immediately available in game engines will help you. Before people start claiming that I'm saying that game engines do not give you problem solving experience or that I'm saying they're somehow inferior, I'm not. I'm saying that it's a different experience altogether. I can say for a fact that I would not have the job I have now had I used game engines for game development. Considering that fact, and the fact that I wouldn't have gotten into Python in general had I used a game engine, I'm very glad I didn't use one. Not using one in the past doesn't mean I can't use one in the future for games. It's actually easier to go from not using an engine to using an engine than the other way around, which I will likely do for VR projects. That entire argument about the learning experience aside though, I'd like to mention a few other factors. While still important, I believe they're less important than the learning based argument. First, if you're looking to do 3D stuff, it takes a special kind of person to want to do that without an engine. I know a few people who do that, but it's really not for most people. Second, going out without an engine ultimately gives you more control, which is great if you want to make your own framework for making a certain type of game. I have personally benefited from this, it's the main reason why I continue to make games without engines, but not the reason why I'm glad I started without an engine. That reason is the reason I previously explained about education. Finally, for some people it's just straight up easier to not use a game engine. Some people find it easier to build complex systems from simple functionality rather than understanding and using other people's higher level functionality to build complex systems. I know this because I fell into that category. In conclusion, I believe that the most valid reason for not using a game engine is for the purpose of learning. Aside from that, there are some less common cases where someone may find working on a lower level to be a better option, but this is a bit rarer. For most people, they're probably going to want to be using an engine, but you really need to take a look at the pros and cons yourself. If you're looking for ways to make games without engines, the second half of the video this is, video is kind of amending went over that topic, so you can jump over there if you're interested in that. Hopefully I'll see you guys later.